This is an introduction for IT Security 2. I just want to give you an introduction, a brief introduction to the course, what you can expect throughout the course. We'll go over the schedule, so what we're going to be discussing throughout the course and when we're going to be discussing it. And then finally, I'll talk about all the various assignments and deliverables that you'll be required to turn in for this course for your grade. So let's get started. So in IT Security 1, you should have learned the following. You should have learned about CIA, um, not the government organization, but CIA as in confidentiality, integrity, uh, and so forth and so on. You learned some security basics. You kind of got an overview of IT security in general. And then you should have learned about some network protocols. You learned a little bit about TCP IP um, and how that, is, uh, how, how that affects IT security. And just you know, understanding all that stuff helps you also understand about security devices, um, especially with networking, things like routers and firewalls. So you should have gotten a brief overview of some of those devices and how we might use those devices. And you also talked about physical security, so how to physically secure servers and how to physically secure um, infrastructure and things of that nature. You also should have uh, dived into risk management and a little bit about disaster recovery and how to mitigate some of those risks and things like that. So sort of the business minutia of IT security. So these should have been the topics that you've already reviewed in IT Security 1. In IT Security 2, we continue uh, discussing IT security, obviously. We're continuing with the same textbook. Uh, you'll talk about, in this, in this course, we'll talk about attacks and malware. Uh, we'll talk about ways to mitigate those attacks. So we'll talk about different ways to detect those attacks and how you can mitigate those attacks, how you can protect yourself from those types of attacks. And some of this you talked about already when you talked about network devices in IT Security 1. And then finally, we'll talk about encryptography and encryption and how we can use cryptography and encryption to protect ourselves. And also, we'll discuss how cryptography actually works. All these topics you would be expected to know for your Security Plus. So let's take a look at the schedule. Like most courses, we're broken into 10 weeks. The 11th week is the final exam. You can see that the first four weeks are where we cover threats and vulnerabilities in IT security. So we'll talk about malware. We'll talk about different types of attacks including application and wireless. We'll talk about social engineering. We'll talk about different ways that we can mitigate some of those attacks, and we'll talk about how we can discover those attacks. Then we get a little bit deeper. In the second portion of the course, we talk about IT security controls, uh, both uh, controls in the, uh, on the host, and we'll talk about intrusion detection and things like that. Uh, we also talk about alternative environments and security in those alternative environments. So these would be things that sometimes are either outside your control or simply can't be secured in the traditional manner, um, such as bring your own device, things like that, which we'll discuss under alternative environments. And then we'll finish off the course with two units discussing cryptography and encryption. So we'll learn about encryption and how it works, and then we'll talk about ways that we can actually use encryption in the real world. Let's take a look at how the grading is going to work. So we talked about all the topics. So the first four units will be covered in a midterm, which will be worth 25% of your grade. The latter six units will be covered on the final exam, which will be worth another 25% of your grade. Each week, so within each unit, with the exception of the midterm, you'll have three things that you should be doing each week. In addition to reading the book and viewing the lectures, you'll also want to complete an assignment, which will be worth 15% of your grade. This will be in Blackboard. You'll see an assignment. You can click on it. There will be a series of questions and looking for about a paragraph for each question for the answer. So I'll present a question that's uh, usually from the material in the book, and I'll look for you to kind of give me an answer um, that's about a paragraph that explains that answer to demonstrate your understanding of the material in the book. You'll also have a quiz. The quiz is really almost for you to, to help you study for the quiz uh, for the top or for the um, uh, for the final and the midterm. It's worth about twenty. Uh, I'm sorry, ten percent of your grade. So the quiz is worth ten percent of your grade. There are fifteen questions on each quiz. So each quiz you'll find fifteen questions. And they are um, basically the questions that are in your textbook. So at the end of each chapter in your textbook, you'll find a quiz. These are the same quizzes. Uh, so I'll ask you to complete those quizzes. And of course, as you know, the answer to those quizzes are in the textbook. So there's really no reason not to get 100% on those quizzes. You should be able to go and look at the answers. What I do with the quizzes is I give you three attempts on each one. So it's a good study guide. So your first attempt, I usually recommend the first attempt. You try the quiz without using the book, um, and that can just demonstrate what your understanding is to help you understand how much you've, you've learned. Then the second attempt, try to get 100%. You know, Use the book, put the right answers in, make sure you get your 100% for the second attempt. 
And then by the third attempt, you can go back and take the third attempt when you're studying for the test. So when you're studying for your midterm, uh, go back and take your third attempt. That grade won't matter because I'm going to take the highest grade. So the highest grade on the quiz is the grade that sticks. And again, that'll make up 10% of your grade. So that's 10% right there. That's almost a free 10% as long as you go in and complete those. And again, it's really a good study guide. Then you've got a discussion. So each week there'll be a discussion thread. I'm going to give you a topic to discuss. Um, hopefully you can respond to that topic. I'm going to try to give you topics that are either timely or things that relate directly to the material that we're discussing. And I encourage you to, uh, to try to do more than just the minimum and try to engage in a meaningful conversation. Again, it's only worth 5% of your grade, but when you go in there, take a look at the topic, and you want to try to get the full 5% on your grade. Uh, you want to post at least a few times each week. And one thing that's important to note is you don't always have to post an initial post to get that, uh, to, you know, to get that grade. You can always respond to other students. So some students might post an initial thought about my thread, so they'll respond essentially to my thread, and then you can respond to them and say, you know, I think you're right about this, or I think you're wrong. Here's some evidence to suggest why you're wrong or right. Uh, and of course, along with, you know, suggesting people are right or wrong, try to keep it civil, just like everything else online. Uh, and finally, we have a term project. So I have a, a, a moderately sized term project. What I'm going to ask you to do is in the first part of the course, we discuss um, different threats and vulnerabilities and attacks. And I'm going to ask you to pick from that list of threats and attacks that we discuss, and we're going to go right out of the gate in the first week. We're going to go over pretty much, and that's a very important week, the first week. We're going to go over lots of different types of attacks and malware and how they can be used. We're going to talk about in the second week about social engineering, um, application and wireless attacks. So we'll talk about in really the first two weeks, everything we talk about you can use in the term project to write a paper. And it's not, don't really think of it as a paper. I want you to think of it as a story. I basically want you to write me a story that describes how somebody used those techniques that we talk about in the course to break into a network. And this can be a fictional story. You can draw from real events. So you can look at something that happened in the news or something that happened in recent history that's a, uh, uh, where a hacker or something attacks some kind of a network. And you can sort of use conjecture to figure out, you know, what, what attacks, what techniques that we talked about in this course could they have used to do that. Uh, be creative with that. So, you know, again, it doesn't have to be anything real. You can make it all up. Um, and I give you some tips and some things you can use to kind of get started with that. But basically, you want to tell a story. And that story should describe how somebody was able to uh, steal a bunch of information. You could tell it in the story of a detective that caught the criminal. You could tell it from the perspective of, Maybe the criminal telling somebody else how they did it or a confession or you can do somebody in a jail cell telling their cellmate, you know, this is what I did. However you want to do that. Um, but again, there's a lot more information in the term project section in the course that you can go and look at part one. So part one will be due in unit four and then part two will be due at the very end of the course. So this is how it's going to work. Everyone should be turning in in unit four a, uh, their story about how somebody broke into a network again, using the various attacks and malware that we discuss from units one and two. And then during uh, unit six, we will post the, uh, those stories as long as they're appropriate. Uh, you know, not all of them might get posted, but hopefully most of them will be. We'll post the stories uh, that were submitted and everyone will be able to read those. So bear that in mind when you write your story that other people are going to be reading these later on in the semester. So everyone's going to take a look at those stories, and you're going to pick someone else's story, and you're then going to describe how you, you're going to pretend that you were brought in as a consultant, an IT security consultant, and based on what you've learned in this course, and by week eight, you should have learned, you know, enough to, to write a pretty detailed paper, you're going to take someone else's story, and you're going to tell somebody how you are going to protect from either that happening again, or that happening in the future, or, you know, however you want to spin that. But you're going to describe how to, how to prevent those types of attacks. And you can even write it from the perspective of a magazine article saying, you know, here's what happened and then here's all the modern technology we have so that something like this could never happen again. Uh, so take your pick. Again, be creative with that. So that entire term project is going to be about 20% of your grade. So the midterm, the final, and the term project make up the bulk of your grade. And then the balance of your grade is going to come from the assignments, quizzes, and discussions. So I hope you enjoy this semester. Um, make sure each week when you sign in, you're going to take a look at um, that at the beginning of each uh, unit. There will be a uh, overview that will tell you what you should be expecting to see that week and what you should complete that week. 
Be sure to make sure you finish your assignments, your quizzes, and your discussion each week and stay on top of that term project. And again, we'll have a midterm and a final. Uh, and that's it. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thank you.